Hello, agents, and welcome back. I did the Bantam Manhunt, and I'm gonna quick show you my build. Then I'm gonna show you Bantam Manhunt. And then we're gonna listen to the audio clip afterwards and come up with some possible conclusions that I... 50% of which I hope are 100% wrong. I want... I, like many of us, if not all of us agents, want more Division 2 content. So, without further ado, for the Bantam Manhunt, I ran my DPS aggro build. I showed you this build before, but I did say I had something on the FAMAS. I think I said I had Obliterate, but I have Optimist. Uh, Dread Edict, Coyote Mask. Pack Instincts works great. If you're new to the game, definitely recommend picking this one up somewhere. Especially for teams. Counterforce Vest. Pravi. Pravi Holster. Walker Harris Backpack with Perfect Adrenaline Rush for that additional armor percentage. Pravi Gloves. And then Overlord Armaments. Fox's Prayer. Knee Pads. Got a location on Lieutenant Bantam. He's at the Potomac Event Center. Oh. Be careful, Agent. Bantam has a lot of... toys. What? Bantam has a lot of toys, huh? Okay. Yeah, that's what Kelso said, right? It's my first time. I'm here for it. I don't know. We're gonna find out. We're about to find out, Rando. Hey, Sank. I'm going for the Chungus. On the left side. Not close enough to take that damage. Why'd she hesitate? I don't know. Kelso loves toys. That's what our guns are. Dangerous toys. You want to run with me? You heard about the roster? What? The California handgun roster law? I heard that there was something going on. Yeah, the they are challenging that law, and uh, uh, of course, California is uh, repelling. But the courts initially say, yeah, that's unconstitutional, and want to uh, change and restrict the handgun roster. But of course, California is challenging that right now. But it's a glimpse of a hope. Roster might be, might be history, hopefully. What do you mean roster? Uh, California handgun roster is a thing. When you, you can't buy any pistol uh, ready available. You have to, it has to be in California's roster. Yeah, that's true. It's a very specific uh, you, set of guns. Yeah, you can't just have get. any sick 226. It has to be the one on the roster for us to purchase. And that law is currently on the challenge right now. Well, technically, that law is defeated, but California, you never know. I just Ugh. always keep your skills on the same num on the same letter. So that's what's up. If you climb forward a little bit, you'll be res. I'm trying, but somebody's blocking me. <laughs> I threw my uh, hive down because I knew you were gonna go down right there. So that's the one I that's I meant to have to do that. I meant that to happen.
Legion, hello, hello, hello. Yeah. You don't miss Vegas. Yeah, I think gun laws in Vegas are relatively strict. Cause it's a big city. Is it? It's like packed. Yeah. <clears throat> Was a city law or the state law? I think it's city most likely, but I don't know that much. Well, then that's not too bad. You just need to drive 20 minutes, go to Nile County. There's like nothing else going on. I'm thinking about moving to Vegas. Vegas is all about the strip. That's literally what it's all about. Outside of that, there's some hiking, like there's some... Some things, but not really. Oh, you're in Henderson. Oh, that's a good neighborhood. Actually, one of my, f my co-worker just recommended me to look around the property in Henderson. Are you moving to Henderson? I'm thinking about moving towards uh, Las Vegas. Can't afford California, Southern California anymore. It is really expensive and it's not getting any cheaper. Yeah. And the reasons for staying are growing slim. When would you move? Sometime this year? Mm, probably next year. My lease is the, uh, due to uh, end of the year, given like. Both of me and my roommate doesn't want to uh, move during the holiday, so probably next year. I just thought of California, as, I mean, uh, uh, Las Vegas is a pretty nice location, considered it's not middle of nowhere, you still have all the assets, markets, and the uh, Food source, like kind of like LA. Well, the one thing I don't know if you know about Las Vegas, mm. well, Nevada, I should say, is it's definitely a desert, and mm -hmm. sure, California is too in some places, like here, but it's like more of a desert because it's not on the ocean, so it doesn't have that additional temperance. So mm -hmm. in the winter times, it gets freaking cold. Yeah, that that I know. I've been to uh, Vegas winter times a couple of times. I don't mind the cold so much. It's it's uh, after April and to August. It's it's gonna be hell for me. Yeah, like in the summertime, it's really hot. In the wintertime, really cold. It's just not temperate because it's not on the ocean like we are. Yeah, exactly. And then the sun will like bake you and your car. So if you don't have your car in like a shaded spot, you could see it degrade from the elements. Hey, you've been in Vegas for a long time. Oh my goodness. Where were you before Vegas? I don't know if I could do it. The workout inside half the year. Huge cities, I'm telling you. A lot of people live in the cities. I think that might be changing though. Might be something that changes. Oh god, I'm in the wrong spot. Oh god. Florida. Yeah. People retire in Florida. Also spring break in Florida, right? 
Climb this way, whiskey. I can probably get you. Oh shit. Agent final signs zero. I got, me, I got me, a little me, greedy. Me, me. I got a little greedy. <laughs> Greedy. 3.1 million. So, like an eighth of the population for the state lives in Las Vegas. Uh, hello? Encrypted file detected. Uploading to database for analysis. Is that one of his toys? Yeah. Your BM's family's in Pahrump? Like Pahrumpa Pum Pum, right? Uh, Vegas says you can get it shipped to the house, but it still requires a 21-year-old to receive. That's fine. That's reasonable. Yeah, good idea, Sank. Just getting it from every side here. Oh, it's got less of a wait. What's the wait time? Come on. Oh god. Oh, I can't res you yet. Hold on a second. Can't get to that guy. Agent incapacitated. Rick, open carry. Yeah, but do people open carry that often? <laughs> Well, the state does a legal open carry, they usually don't bother because they that means they're pretty lenient anyway. Oh, California that's... used to be open, uh, legal to open carry. So there was that shooting that happened. I forget where that was. That was at some kind of an event. Watch out for that Did the guy have a sniper rifle? No, I think that's one of ours. I mean the oh, shooting. Is Bantam out? Yeah. He's out. Where is he? Try not to kill him before he oh, do anything. Him. Hey bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when agents come for you? He's screaming. Uh oh, I'm gonna die. 
He's got a sniper shotgun. I got you. I got you. Let me get Inkson real quick. I think he just died. No, he just hit the ground. And he came back up real quick. He's all yours, boy. Oh shucks. Yeah, shouldn't have. Identification confirmed. Lieutenant Bantam. He's really flexible. One of Anderson's true sons. Rip. Like how comfortable they are with the Black Tusk Ordinance. Hey, agent. Decrypted another drone recording. It's queued up at the castle if you want to hear it. He, he died just like that. He didn't use anything. Yeah, he didn't. Like, who, who was his toy? He didn't even use the secret mine. Did we kill him too fast? No, like this is the longest time I ever seen him survive. His, uh, sh his, his goons that's around him was a lot harder than he himself. He didn't do anything. Huh. Just using shotgun, that's it. Normal yellow elite. <laughs> Everyone else have the same experience? Uh, okay, so I'm going to leave the group. Oh yeah, you need to finish your, your thing. Squishy. People died. Oh, some flaws in the narrative of the shooting. You're not talking about the game. You're talking about in Vegas when the shooting occurred. He was in the Mandalay Bay shooting across Las Vegas Boulevard. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, that one. That so. OK, yeah, OK. Which was a tragic, tragic nearby. incident. And I'm sorry for those people. That sucks. OK, back to Division 2. Decryption. We want to retrofit more mortars. I'm going to need more DC-62. Thank you for telling me, Lieutenant. General, does that mean you're going to send more DC-62? Yeah, at this point, contamination threats may not be in our best interests. Visible contamination. What are you implying? Rumors about radiation, sir. Oh, rumors? What rumors? About the plant? No, St. Louis. What about St. Louis? You really don't know, do you? Excuse me? There's nothing to know. I can't tell if you're full of shit, or your new friend is teaching you to be a fantastic fucking liar. Watch your tone, Lieutenant. I don't give a fuck about my tone. I want to know if I need to worry about radiation poisoning, sir. If there's a choice between DC-62 and radiation poisoning, I'd rather take a powder shower. Way less painful way to die, at least it's quick. Jeez. Damn. Well, something's going listen, on in St. Louis, and it's not involving Keener. Right? <laughs> Was that whiskey? No, the the way the plot line definitely is leaning more of us another way of bioweapons. Oh, is that a Heartland referral? Oh. So, oh my God, Zank, with you saying that, I have to wonder, is this entire manhunt <laughs> pushing us towards fucking Heartland? So would this manhunt close the loop for Division 2? Because they're making all of the manhunts playable in the current season. So, like, for instance... At level 58, you unlock Coney Island Manhunt, which is Schaefer. <sighs> Nothing to do but wait for the next piece, huh?